I put together a two-year business plan before starting this YouTube channel. I didn't want to just flounder around for years without accomplishing anything. I wanted to have a plan. This channel just celebrated its second birthday, which means I'm now at the end of that two-year plan and I have to figure out what to do next. In the meantime, I'm going to share the goals I put into that plan in the beginning and how this channel actually performed in comparison. The original business plan was that I was going to run this channel for about two years and then toward the end of that period, I'd put together a training course or something and try to sell that. I mean, it's not the most original business concept, but it was something that could make the channel financially sustainable. This was originally going to be a channel about both photography and video production. Cool stuff you can do with cameras, basically. Over time, though, I wound up narrowing the focus to just video production. I did this for a few different reasons. First, photography is somewhat easier than video. It just is. It's less technical, it's less complicated, there are fewer moving parts. That means it's more accessible and easier to get started with photography, so there are probably more people doing it, which means more competition for my videos. Now, I understand all the ways in which saying photography is easier is going to make photographers upset. I'm also a photographer, so I'm kind of getting mad at myself for saying it. But I think anyone who does both photography and video production would probably agree that video is just more complicated and has a higher barrier to entry. Second, photography is having a hard time online. There's pretty much only one big social platform that's really conducive to photography, and that's Instagram. Meanwhile, the head of Instagram has explicitly stated that they're no longer a photo sharing app. They want to be a video entertainment app like TikTok. All their algorithms are getting turned toward promoting videos instead of photography. Photography just isn't viral and addictive enough for social platforms to want to promote it. If that's the way the wind is blowing, it makes business sense for me to lean more into video than photography. Third, YouTube channels are more successful when they niche down and focus on a specific topic. Trying to cover both photography and video would spread me pretty thin, so I picked one. Now, there's a trade-off, of course. Because video is not quite as accessible to people as photography is, it probably also means there's a smaller audience for it. That's always the case when you niche down. You get a smaller pool of possible viewers, but you're more likely to get those viewers, so the math generally still works out. In the business plan, I aimed for a posting schedule of once per week. I generally did really well with that, although I had some life stuff come up over the past couple months that got me behind schedule. Overall, I was supposed to publish 100 videos over that two-year period, and I actually hit 81 videos, which is still a lot. I missed my goal, but I still feel pretty good about coming up with 81 solid videos, despite everything else going on at the time. And the content of this channel is pretty much in line with what I had originally planned. How-to videos, explainers, hardware discussions, and so on. The only thing I didn't do that was in the business plan was a lot more SEO focused or clickbait type videos. Now I have done a few of those just to experiment with them, but not many. And I'd probably find more viewers and more subscribers if I did more of that stuff. Okay, let's talk about success metrics and how reality compared to the plan. This isn't my first YouTube channel. I've had other channels and done YouTube marketing for businesses as well, so I had a pretty good sense for what to expect. I figured that if I could crank out a video a week for two years, I could probably hit the following numbers. 2,500 subscribers, 7,200 hours of watch time, and 200,000 views. Obviously, there are some kinds of channels that can perform much better than that, but based on the content I was delivering and the format I was doing it in, those are about the numbers I expected for this channel. Now, I was only able to get out 81 videos during that time frame instead of the 100 that I'd planned, but here's where things landed after two years. As of the time I'm recording this, I have 4,219 subscribers, which is 69% over plan. I have 22,500 hours of watch time, which is 212% over plan. And I have 435,700 views, which is 117% over plan. Basically, the channel did pretty well. Granted, my original estimates were pretty conservative because YouTube had already broken my spirit long before this channel, so I knew I wasn't going to go viral or anything like that. But they were realistic numbers and the channel significantly outperformed them, so I'm pretty happy about that. Now the obvious question, according to the plan, am I going to build a training program and start selling it? And my answer is, not yet. I'm still definitely interested in doing that. I've done a lot of teaching and training stuff in the past and I really enjoy that, but I wanna make it something that's interesting and valuable and different, and I just don't know what that is yet. I don't know what exactly you want to know. I need to know more about what you're trying to learn. So I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing until I have a better sense of that. I'm gonna post videos on a variety of topics and see what you respond to. I really wanna create something that connects instead of just slapping together something to check a box. And once I figure out what that is, I'll do it. Anyway, I just wanted to check in and report on this channel's two-year progress, so there you have it.